Good evening. Hi. Everybody doing good? Yes, it's going to be a pretty amazing night. My name is Doug Griffin, afternoon host at 94FM The Fish, also a proud resident of the city of Franklin these past 19 years and a 2014 graduate of the Franklin Fire Department Citizens Fire Academy. This is my fourth year to uh, be your master of ceremonies at the event, truly an honor. I've mentioned before, but the uh, Academy really opened my eyes to the countless ways that you, our Franklin firefighters, serve our community day in and day out. So grateful and proud that the city of Franklin has such dedicated men and women who put their lives on the line regardless of weather, time of day, holidays, and more. And uh, we know that you're there to answer the call anytime, and it's very comforting. There are others who work behind the scenes as well to support our firefighters or who work in roles that may not even be visible to make Franklin an incredibly safe place to live, work, and visit. We're gathered here tonight for an important purpose, to honor the outstanding accomplishments of these individuals and the Franklin Fire Department as a whole. We'll also recognize some other special emergency responders and citizens and recognize those who have been recently promoted. Very important here, Photographs are graciously being provided this evening by Life Touch Photography. Cheryl is here, and she will be snapping some photos. Now, the way we would like the flow to go is to have your picture taken after you exit the stage and before returning to your seat. So you'll make your way up those stairs. We'll have ceremonial pinnings and assignments here. You can exit there, and then she's set up just outside those doors for a photo before you head back to the seats. Also, if your award is accompanied by a commendation bar, administrative staff will work with you to update the mounting bar for your Class A uniform in the coming weeks. And if you would, please take a moment to turn off or silence your cell phones or electronic devices, unless you want us talking about you tomorrow. At this time, if you would, please stand for the presentation of the colors and remain standing for the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. Firefighter paramedic James Gamble will lead the invocation. Would you bow with me as we pray? Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight. We're grateful for this opportunity to get together with our brothers and sisters in the fire service, with our friends and family, and with members from other agencies in the community around us. We ask that you will watch over the events of this evening. We ask that as we celebrate the, the past year's accomplishments of the Franklin Fire Department that we always keep a watchful eye on the future as well and that by your grace we may continue to serve those around us with excellence. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Assistant Fire Chief Glenn Johnson will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Freeze in. Arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic with which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hold her arms.
Please be seated. I'd like to introduce Chief Rocky Garzarek. Thank you, Doug. Good evening. Uh, it is my great privilege to serve as the fire chief in this great community here in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, we're proud to celebrate all the accomplishments from our team's perspective this year and those that are receiving awards. We also like to thank all the families for giving them support that they need to come to work each day and, and while you take care of the home front. Um, <clears throat> Also, I'd like to acknowledge some of the people in the crowd tonight that, are, that have taken the time to come out and be with us. Uh, we have our police chief, Deb Faulkner, if you'd stand, please. And we have um, our county sheriff, Dusty Rhodes. I saw him, that, that's, there's Dusty. And uh, we also have uh, Mayor Ken Moore and uh, my boss, Eric Stuckey. So I think um, at this point in time, uh, I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Doug and let him get on with the, the presentations. Thank you, Chief. It's my pleasure to introduce at this time Mayor Dr. Ken Moore. Well, hello, everybody, and uh, Notice my voice a little hoarse, so I'm going to be very brief. Uh, it's a great time to see all the families here uh, out to support uh, our firemen and as they receive their awards tonight. Uh, you know, I get to sign all these certificates that you're going to get tonight, and I read those, and I'm just amazed every single year with the heroic acts that our employees are doing. And that's why it's so important and why we're so supportive supportive of training because training uh, makes you have that quick reaction that intuitive what you're supposed to do without sitting there thinking a long time so we appreciate the families here tonight we appreciate uh, the job that our firemen and our, some of our policemen do who are here tonight so thanks for the opportunity and i'm going to say my voice <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Moore. Next, I'd like to welcome Franklin City Administrator Eric Stuckey to the microphone. My voice is okay, but I will keep it short, too. Uh, I just want to say two thoughts. First, congratulations to those of you that will be receiving awards. We're so appreciative of the extra effort, the outstanding efforts that have been exemplified by what you've done this year. It's a great job. Uh, we all know that some people are receiving rewards, some people aren't, but it's a team effort, both within the fire department, within your families, everything. None of us does, does this alone. So we want to thank you for that and recognize the team that has brought you all here today. Uh, I want to express gratitude. Uh, we're so thankful for the service that you all provide, the service through excellence uh, motto that you all have adopted is, is exemplified in what you do every day, and we're proud of that service, the high level of service that we provide, we think among the very best in the state of Tennessee and across the country. And we want to thank you for doing that. Uh, we want to also recognize not only the men and women of the Franklin Fire Department, but other folks on our team that will be recognized, citizens that will be recognized, the support staff, both within the department and within the city that help make it possible. Um, they make sure that you get that paycheck every two weeks. We're big fans of that, that you have the supplies you need, the uniforms you need, the equipment you need. And that's uh, everybody across our team. So again, we do this all together, but we're especially appreciative to get to recognize uh, the excellent work that you all provide throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, once again, we'll ask the chief to return to the podium. I are we wanted to take the opportunity tonight to uh, celebrate basically one of our retirees in the Franklin Fire Department. And uh, I will call Todd to the stage shortly after I say what I have to say. But uh, Todd Horton had worked in the uh, fire Franklin Fire Department for 30 years. 
and he's gone on now to be the executive director of the Williamson County uh, Emergency Management Agency. And he is sorely missed. <clears throat> I mean, there's not a day that I don't go by his office that I, rec <clears throat> I identify that the light is off and Todd's not in there working. And uh, I miss him greatly. Uh, he has, <clears throat> throughout his 30 year career here, um, he was hired by Fire Chief Mark Rigsby and I believe it was 1989. Um, he traveled through the ranks of the Franklin Fire Department, retiring as Deputy Fire Chief of Administration in Finance. And Todd has touched every fire apparatus, every tool and piece of equipment that we have purchased, every fire station that we have had the privilege to build in this city. Todd has been an integral part of every one of those projects. So, um, Todd, I'd like to call you to the stage. So basically we had, we had to uh, take or remove our steel, Todd's helmet shield to put on this before he left town and, and then he got to missing it and asked us where it was and he thought we was playing a prank on it. But uh, it, it says, the Franklin Fire Department makes this presentation to Deputy Chief Todd Horton in recognition and appreciation of his outstanding leadership and years of service, 1989 to 2019. So will you please join me in a standing ovation. Thank you. It's truly an honor to be here tonight. I only wish that I could stay uh, with you and uh, be a part of witnessing and celebrating those of you who will receive awards tonight. Uh, but I have a county commission meeting that I have to get to at 7 o'clock <laughs> where they're confirming me in my position and I think they would be unhappy if I didn't show up. <clears throat> I do want to say uh, a special congratulations to all of you who are receiving awards tonight. You are truly a dedicated bunch and, an, and a deserving bunch. But also I would be remiss to say that every member of the Franklin Fire Department and every family member that supports you in your job here are all worthy of recognition. And, and I applaud all of you every day for the sacrifices that you make. Thank you. We have several members that we'd like to recognize for their promotions and new positions. These individuals will be pinned by their family members tonight with their new badges. We'll start first with the engineer promotion, beginning with engineer James Damastis. Engineer Damastis, please come forward with your family.
awesome. Congratulations. Next, we recognize our fire inspectors. When I call your name, please come forward with your family members. Fire inspector, paramedic, Ryan Naylor. Congratulations, Fire Inspector Paramedic Naylor. Next, Fire Inspector Christy Thompson. Congratulations, Fire Inspector Thompson. Finally, we recognize our newly promoted Assistant Fire Marshals. Assistant Fire Marshal Jonathan Dye. Congratulations, Assistant Fire Marshal Dye. And now, Assistant Fire Marshal Kurt Edelman. Congratulations, Assistant Fire Marshal Edelman, and if we could, a round of applause for all that we recently had on stage. Our first award of the evening is being presented to an individual who went above and beyond to serve the Franklin Fire Department during her first year of employment. While still in recruit training and as a new firefighter, Danielle Randolph volunteered to assist with numerous public education and community outreach initiatives 
These included taking a lead role in educating more than 600 first grade students through the Family Safe House program, heading up a public education research project, and appearing in several training and outreach videos. Most new firefighters embrace their role as emergency responders who serve at fire stations, but firefighter Randolph is truly special because she ventured outside of that comfort zone immediately to help the Fire Prevention Division. For her willingness to jump in and serve the community through prevention and education and do so with wholehearted joy and enthusiasm, we honor firefighter Danielle Randolph this evening with the Community Service Award. Did you know that the Franklin Fire Department delivers? We do use that line every year. Thank you, Jean. Firefighters responding from Station 1A delivered a healthy baby boy on May 10th, 2018, and we honor them tonight with a Stork Award. Firefighter, paramedic Jason Webb, and firefighter Rob Thomas, please join us. A Phoenix Award is presented to firefighters for saving the life of a patient in cardiac arrest. In 2018, Franklin firefighters saved the lives of three people who suffered cardiac arrests. All three 2018 saves occurred in a span of less than one month. The first 2018 CPR save occurred on the same day as our Stork Award. Please come forward when I call your name for Phoenix Award number one, Captain Joe Hill. Lieutenant Jonathan Gill, Firefighter Paramedic Matt Anderson, Firefighter Paramedic Chris Daniel, Firefighter Paramedic Terry Story, Firefighter David Cloud, Firefighter Don Crouch, Firefighter Keith McVoy, and Firefighter Jerry Thomas. These individuals are recognized for their role in helping to save the life of a patient who went into cardiac arrest on May 10th, 2018 with a Phoenix Award. Congratulations. Phoenix Award number two, Lieutenant Steve Raymer, Engineer Chris McElvain, Firefighter Paramedic Nate Davis, Firefighter Paramedic Tyler Chatham. A round of applause as they make their way to the stage. Or not. They're out doing what needs to be done. These individuals recognized for their role in saving a life on May 31st. Another round of applause for our second Phoenix Award. And last but not least, our final CPR save occurred on June 1st, 2018. If you are here, please come forward when I call your name. Lieutenant Daniel Doss, Firefighter Paramedic Brian Peters, Firefighter James Fox, and firefighter Nick Riley.
Congratulations, Engine Company 7. <laughs> Remain with us here for a few more moments. We have two special guests we would like to invite to join us on stage. Patient Ronnie Campbell is here tonight to thank you in person. Mr. Campbell, if you would, please come forward. And another special guest also here this evening, Mr. Brendan Patrick Miller, if you would, please come forward. <laughs> Mr. Brendan Patrick Miller was driving a work vehicle in the Berry Farm subdivision on June 1st, 2018, when his coworker, Mr. Ronnie Campbell, who was riding with him in the passenger seat, experienced a sudden cardiac arrest. Mr. Miller immediately pulled over, removed Mr. Campbell from the vehicle, and began CPR. Mr. Campbell had previously learned CPR because he has a child who has a respiratory condition. Bystander CPR is the first link in the chain of survival for sudden cardiac arrest patients. It significantly improves the opportunity for a successful patient outcome. Immediate CPR can double or even triple chances of survival after cardiac arrest. Mr. Miller's previous training in CPR allowed him to provide quality care to his coworker and friend until the Franklin Fire Department arrived and began patient care. Tonight, we honor Mr. Miller and Franklin Fire Engine Company 7 with the Phoenix Award. Congratulations, and don't go anywhere. Lieutenant Dan Doss would like to say a few words as well. Patrick, uh, on behalf of the Franklin Fire Department, for your heroic and effective actions on June 1st, 2018, it is my honor to present to you the Citizens Life Saving Award. Congratulations, and congratulations again to all of our Phoenix Award recipients and Mr. Brendan Patrick Miller. One more round of applause, please, as they exit the stage. Next, we'd like to honor a Franklin Fire Department member who saved the life of a person who was choking while he was off duty. Lieutenant Paramedic Max Cook, if you would please come forward. While off duty in Nashville on June 8, 2018, Lieutenant Paramedic Max Cook witnessed a man who appeared to be in distress. He approached the man and discovered he had complete airway obstruction. Acting quickly, he performed abdominal thrusts until the object was freed and the man's airway passage was cleared. Well done. Congratulations. Our Meritus Service Award won our first one, if you would please come forward as I call your name, Lieutenant Paramedic Michael Henderson, Engineer Brian Doherty, Firefighter Paramedic Brian Naylor, and Firefighter Stephen Holmes. On July 23rd, 2018, a patient sustained life-threatening injuries in a head-on motor vehicle collision. The patient was in critical condition and needed to be removed and transported to the hospital immediately to survive. Typically, during vehicle extractions, the fire department works relatively slowly and methodically to cut a vehicle away from a patient, but in this case, the patient's survival depended on rapid but careful extraction. The firefighters from Station 4A had the experience and presence of mind to assess the patient accurately, thoroughly, and quickly. They made the decision to perform an extraordinary and life-saving procedure. The patient survived and made a full recovery. We honor these individuals tonight with Emeritus Service Award. Join me, please, in giving them a round of applause. Our second Meritus Service Award. If you would please come forward if you are here as I call your name, Battalion Chief Joseph Polanzani. <laughs> Lieutenant. Paramedic Richie Schatz, 
Engineer Doug Bowman. Firefighter Daniel Burke. Firefighter Josh Meeks. Williamson County Sheriff's Deputy Errol Agula. Agula. And Williamson County Sheriff's Deputy Will Harris. On the evening of August 31st, 2018, Station 7A was dispatched to a reported motor vehicle collision involving a pedestrian. They arrived to find Williamson County Sheriff's deputies already on scene applying a tourniquet to a critically injured patient. The patient had been struck by a van at a high rate of speed. The actions of the deputies and the subsequent actions of members of the Franklin Fire Engine Company 7 resulted in the stabilization of the patient prior to transport to the hospital by Williamson Medical Center EMS. Without the quick actions of the sheriff's deputies, the tremendous blood loss from the patient would most likely have resulted in a fatality. Lieutenant Paramedic Richie Schatz, who submitted this nomination, said he would withdraw it if the deputies were not included. Although they all helped to save a life, Lieutenant Schatz insisted that the fire department's actions were secondary to those of the deputies. Tonight, we honor all of those outstanding individuals for their life-saving actions with Emeritus Service Award, and I understand Stephen O'Donnell, our patient, is here as well to join us on stage. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about, saving lives. This is good show prep, by the way. It'll give me things to talk about on the radio tomorrow. I love this. Our next category is the Fire Chief's Award. Please come forward if you are here when I call your name. Assistant Fire Chief Glenn Johnson, Captain Thomas Chaffin, Captain Jonathan Jenkins, Captain Michael Pardue, Lieutenant Jonathan Gill, Lieutenant Jeremy Martin, Engineer Jeremiah Rogers, Firefighter Paramedic Joseph Burwell, Firefighter Paramedic Daniel Smotherman, Firefighter Rob Thomas, Franklin Fire Department Detective Ryan Grande, Franklin Police Officer Sean Finn, Franklin Police Officer Brendan McClellan, Franklin Police Officer Cody Walter, City of Franklin IT Communications Systems Manager Michael Proctor. In September 2018, Hurricane Florence, the wettest tropical cyclone on record in the Carolinas, made landfall. Hurricane Florence dumped a historic and devastating rainfall as it moved over the Carolinas at a menacingly slow pace, producing catastrophic and life-threatening flooding. A swift water rescue team from the city of Franklin, comprised of members from the fire, police, and IT departments, was deployed to South Carolina to assist with relief efforts. We honor these individuals tonight with the Chief's Fire Chief's Award. Congratulations and a round of applause. We've arrived now at the Personnel of the Year Awards. First is our Support Employee of the Year. If Assistant Fire Marshal Jonathan Dye would please come forward. For almost 10 years, Rodney Prince has supported the fire department with his role as life safety plan educator with BNS. His responsibilities include reviewing building plans to verify the proposed building will need the requirements of fire and life safety codes. His work is very important not only to people, uh, the safety of the people, 
who will occupy the building, but also the safety of firefighters who may need to respond in the event of an emergency or a fire. The proper design of building exits, fire barriers, and fire protection features is the direct result of Rodney's hard work, passion, and attention to detail. He continues to be an asset for the Franklin Fire Department as he begins, as he works behind the scenes to ensure safe buildings. This is a well-deserved award, and thank you, Rodney. If you'll come up here to uh, receive your award, please. City of Franklin Building and Neighborhood Service Fire and Life Safety Plans Examiner 2. Rod, does that all fit on a card? Rodney Prince is the 2018 Franklin Fire Department Support Employee of the Year. Next, we move on to Rookie of the Year, Captain Tyler Cruz, if you would please come forward. As many in our organization may know, the gentleman that I'm about to introduce uh, was already associated with a couple other members of our department before he came here. And uh, those members relayed to him that this was a, a good place to work. There's something special about Franklin, and there's a reason to come check this place out. And I'm very grateful this evening to belong to such an organization that such things happen. I'm especially grateful this evening that uh, Firefighter Blue Greenwell joined us. And uh, I'm particularly grateful that he joined us our particular team at Station 2. Luke came to us, um, already a very experienced firefighter. Um, he'd already done a lot of things in the service and he continues to grow that way. But with that, he brought to the job of being a new rookie to us a sense of humbleness and uh, an incredible work ethic. And it's because of those two things that there's no telling what Luke might accomplish here at the Franklin Fire Department. So I'd like to invite Luke to join me on the stage now. Firefighter Luke Greenwell, 2018 Franklin Fire Department Rookie of the Year. Next recognition is our Firefighter of the Year, and for that we're going to ask Assistant Fire Chief Glenn Johnson to please come forward. Our Firefighter of the Year tonight is Firefighter Paramedic Shane White. Shane was uh, instrumental in bringing Luke here, so I'm going to ask him to go ahead and start making his way up here while I say a few things about him. But he has an excellent work ethic. He's shown heart and dedication to this department. He's taken the initiative to go above and beyond to take on things and to really strive to be the best. Uh, he's always put forth a good face for our department, and he's always doing service through excellence. So with that, congratulations, Firefighter Paramedic Shane White. Next we have our Engineer of the Year, uh, Lieutenant Chris Brown is going to present that. If you'd please come forward. I would like to take and recognize Mike Morgan, 
Mike has served with the Franklin Fire Department for 25 years. Mike is an outstanding and respected person that goes above and beyond to perform the duties placed upon him as an engineer. And it's been an honor to take him work with you. And I want to take and say we appreciate you, Mike, and how you have served with the Franklin Fire Department. If you would, please come up here and accept the award. Next is our Fire Administration Staff Member of the Year, and for that I'd like to ask Assistant Fire Marshal Kurt Edelman to please come forward for that presentation. Okay, I've worked with you all now for about five years, and through those five years, I've kind of walked in the shadow of Fire Inspector Wayne Mobley. Um, one of the reasons why I nominated for this award is because he shows such dedication to you guys. Just about every inspection he's on, he wonders, how's it going to impact the guys? Is the Knox box in the right location? Is the address big enough? Is the hookup in the right place? So just on that alone, his dedication and you know, his feelings towards you guys uh, made me nominate him for the award. So Wayne, would you come on up? And our Fire Officer of the Year, and for that we're asking Engineer Jeremiah Rogers to please come forward for that presentation. Good evening. It's my distinct honor and privilege to present the 2018 Officer of the Year Award. The person rece receiving this award goes above his duties as an officer each and every day. He excels in leading his crew and holds them to the highest of standards. He has also been great for the morale of all the members at Station One and is one of those people that's like the glue that holds the team together. He has been dedicated to training others and passing on his knowledge to the next generation. He has taught over seven classes last year in two different recruit academies. He has done a great job with keeping up with the training of his company as well as himself and has even taken classes on his own time and money to further his knowledge in being a fire investigator. <clears throat> he has taken on other duties such as developing the Kelly Day schedule for A shift and is an active member in the technical rescue, rescue team. He has done a professional job when interacting with the public and puts the citizens of Franklin first. He is one of those officers who can be at two places at one time, out front leading the way and behind watching everybody's back. He is an expert communicator, whether it's teaching recruits or explaining friction loss to first graders, which I've personally witnessed. <laughs> The guys at Station One like to pick on him from time to time because he has such large hands. And it's earned him a few nicknames, such as Lieutenant Big Hands, <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph, <laughs> Mr. Ham Hands, and my personal favorite, Hot Dog Fingers. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, 
The reason his hands are so big and strong is because he uses them to build a better department, a stronger crew, and a more positive world. The only thing bigger than his hands is his heart because he truly cares about his department, his crew, and his family. Please help me in congratulating the mighty, the strong, Lieutenant Dave Metcalf for receiving the Officer of the Year award. Congratulations one more time, a round of applause for the 2018 Franklin Fire Department Personnel of the Year honorees. And keep the applause going for the chief, he's got a few more words. Well, in closing, I would just like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. Um, and we still have some refreshments in the back for you to enjoy. Uh, and at this point in time, though, I'd like to recognize Doug Griffin, who has been our MC hosting this for us for several years now. So, Doug. <laughs> With that, that concludes our ceremony, and um, have a great evening. Let me just grab a few more quick thank yous. Before we conclude, a thank you to the members of the City of Franklin Communications team, the Franklin Fire Department Awards Committee, especially Marlena DeSantis, Franklin Fire Department Honor Guard, Life Touch Photography, Nashville Firefighters Pipe and Drum, Williamson County Enrichment Center. Can we give them, please, a round of applause? Of course, my personal thanks to Jamie Melton, fire and life safety educator. I can't do this without her, so thank you. And mark your calendars for the Franklin Fire Department's upcoming Bicentennial Bash on 10-10-2020. Visit facebook.com slash franklinfire2020 for Bicentennial updates and happenings. Congratulations again to all. Thank you, and good night.